Welcome to October's LeetCode Challenge. Today's problem is search a 2D matrix. Write an efficient algorithm that searches for a value in an M times N matrix. This matrix has the following properties. Integers in each row are sorted, and the first integer of each row is greater than the last integer of the previous row. In other words, the entire grid is sorted in order. So if this was one single array, how would we search it? Because it's sorted, we would do a binary search, right? And that would make it a log n solution. But because these are split into different rows, that makes it a little more complicated. So what can we do? Well, one approach we can go with is we can search every single row and do a binary search on each one, making it an m times log n solution. So let's first begin with that and see if that works. I'm going to initialize a couple of variables here. I'm going to start with the n, which is going to be the length of matrix 0. And m is just going to be the number of rows, which is going to be the length of matrix. And I should also add if not matrix, return false, because there's no matrix. OK, so if we had this, how would we do a binary search on each single row? Well, let's write a helper method. I'll call it binary search. And we'll pass in the, let's say, row number or row index. And we'll just do a, a regular binary search. That would be L R equals 0 to the number of columns, n minus 1. And then we'll say while L is less or equal to R, calculate the midpoint, L plus R divided by 2. If the matrix of this row and this target or I'm sorry, this midpoint equals the target, then we can return a true. Otherwise, if this value, matrix row mid, if it's, let's say, less than the target, then we want to move our left pointer to the mid. And we should add one here to make sure we don't repeat. Otherwise, we make our r equal to mid minus one for the same reason. So if we can't find anything, we just return a false. So what we'll do is say, all right, for every single row in range of how many rows there are, we'll just say if binary search row, then we can return a true. If we find something, we return a true. It's like true, true. Otherwise, we get through the whole loop. We can return a false. So this. Uh, looks like it's working. Let's go ahead and submit that. And that gets accepted. So great. We're done, right? Well, hold on, though. Surely we can do better, right? Because there is a sorted um, property to this 2D grid that we should be able to take advantage of. We're doing n, um, what was it? m times log n, right? Is it possible somehow to do a log of m times log of n? So log of m times n. Well, let's think about uh, if we could figure out a way to flatten this list, right? So one thing we could think about is, well, this is sorted, right? So if this was one array, how many index numbers would there have been? And that would be the m times n, right? So very quickly we start realizing, oh wait, hold on, there's definitely a way to keep track of the full range of this array using a modular and perhaps using a, a divide function, divide operator to figure out which row we're on and then just use the mod, the mod uh, function to figure out which column we're on. Okay, so let's think about that a little bit. Um, if we were to do that, we could, initialize our left and right pointer to equal zero and the n times m, right? And it's actually minus one. And that would be the very last index number if this was completely flattened. But we can't flatten this because if we go ahead and try to flatten it, it would become uh, m times n solution, right? So what can we do? Um, so let's get rid of this helper method and just think about, well, if we can just figure out a way to uh, find the point, kind of flatten this mat matrix virtually, then we could do this. So what we could do is 
when we calculate our midpoint, just divide that by the number of columns, which would be n. And that's going to give us which row we're on. In the same way, we get this mid, and we'll just get the modular number. And that's going to give us technically which column it's on. So there we have it. We have this value here that we can use to kind of simulate as if this was a single uh, flat array. And after that, everything else would be the same. We just return a false here if we can get through the loop. And we can just get rid of this part. So this would actually be a log of m times n solution. So let's make sure this works. And it looks like that's working. So let's go and submit it. And accepted. So, wow, great. I mean, this is a pretty clever solution. I mean, um, honestly, the problem isn't that hard. But uh, I think coming up with this solution might take some steps. And I think I'll end it there. Thank you. So thanks for watching my channel. Remember, do not trust me. I know nothing.